Good evening. How are you, Pedrina? Ricardo, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, ready? <clears throat> ready for action, right? Excellent. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, so, uh, listen, um, my classes. Okay. Oh. He's on the, on the, on the working. Now you are working right now. Okay. Yes. So you are at work, so you will be only listening. Okay. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, my friend. Let's see. Uh, good evening, everyone. Today is December the 13th. This is class 21. And the topic is assessing risk vocabulary. Okay, assessing risk vocabulary. <clears throat> Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. We already talked about product development, product testing, prototyping, manufacturing, and right now preventing uh, workplace related accidents, okay? These are the specific objectives of this unit. And this is the class objective. Students will be able to describe risks and hazards at the workplace. Okay. The agenda for tonight is, we're going to begin with a discussion of risk, re, uh, hazards, and then we're going to work on vocabulary. We're going to be matching, and uh, we're going to continue with dialogue and discussion. And then we're going to be brainstorming risks in your workplace, okay? So before we begin, let's see who is present. Right now, I, we are only six people present. <clears throat> okay. Ana Selmi Chavez. Ana Delmi Carranza de Guzmán. Danny Anthony Siguenza. Danny Adalberto Fuentes. Hello, Danny. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Okay. Guadalupe de Carmen López. José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Tonight you stay with me, right? Yeah, I know, teacher. Actually, I cannot, I cannot turn on my camera. And next ten minutes, I will do it. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Excellent. No problem. Jose Ignacio Franco. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Excellent, Kari. Welcome aboard. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present teacher. Nice, okay. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. 
Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present, present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Good evening, excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. And Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. How are you doing, Rudy? Okay. These are the people that are present. More? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, Danis. Hello. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Now that we called roll, I'd like to thank you for doing your homework. I've seen that some of you have been busy doing homework. Excellent. Hey, congratulations. This is the last week. The idea is to finish with the homework daily, okay? Every day we do our homework. Every day we complete our tasks so that on Friday, that is the last day of class, you take uh, the uh, encuesta de satisfacción that is uh, obligatory. We have to do it together. I imagine that they will be sending you the links like Wednesday, okay, the day after tomorrow for you to have the links for the inquesta, and uh, we have to do it in class, like last course, you remember? In the last course, we, do it, we did it together. In case you need uh, help with the information, which you let me know, I will be happy to help you, okay? So that is regarding this. Let's uh, do the final exam this week, okay? If you haven't done it, because many of you have done it, hey, that's great. And I see uh, that you have a hundred. Congratulations. After all, the idea is that all of you get promoted to the other level. Not because you have to be promoted, but because you know, okay? That is the idea. And you are complying with the specifications uh, that we have provided. So that is excellent. Very good. Congratulations. Now let's go to the class. Let's go to the class. I hope that you have sent the documents for the next registration too. If not, okay, talk to your human resource office so that they send you the documents, okay? So that for the next registration, you can be ready. Okay, so let's, enough is enough, let's begin, okay? All right, let's begin with a discussion. Okay, we're going to be giving opinions and making definitions. First definition is accident. What do you understand uh, uh, by accident? And then risk, what's a risk? And what is hazard? Hazard literally means danger, danger. But then, okay, you're going to be giving your definition in the group. What kind of accidents can people have at work? Have you ever had an accident at work? How did your company handle it? What safety precautions can a company implement at work? Who is responsible for security at work? In case of fire, is there an evacuation route? In case of an earthquake, what do you have to do in order to keep safe, okay? To save your life. Okay, let's go to the group so that you may discuss that, okay? This is page eight. Page eight. We are to have someone to make only three groups. Mm 
the groups have been created. Okay, so let's get into the groups. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Norbert. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, you are assigned, uh, okay, Norbert, you are assigned to group three. Okay, so you see your invitation, excellent, nice. Okay, Anna Delmi is assigned to group one. Uh, and also Anita is assigned to group three. So enter group three, Anita, okay? Thank you, uh, teacher. You're welcome, my friend, welcome on board, okay? Welcome on board. Let me only activate the, the, the camera. No, the camera, no, the projection. Okay. See, Don Eduardo, I'm going to send you to group one, okay? If you can enter, if you want to enter, you are welcome, always. So, group one, okay? So let's begin. <laughs> when a situation that no, it is not provocated. within the danger. With the or uh -huh. uh, the action imprudent for the human or for mistake or operation the machine or no use the equipment or equipment equipment <laughs> Equipment, yes, or protection equipment, yes. Yeah, I, I, I think like at the same, I didn't have said, uh, it's an, an action or a situation, sorry, a situation that we don't hope. No, we don't hope. We didn't hope. We don't hope. Don't expect. Don't expect. Uh, uh -huh. Hope is something that is positive. Okay. For example, you will graduate. I, I hope you graduate. In mm -hmm. oh, okay. But you you were not ready because you didn't expect it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Expect. Okay. Yes, Gary. Excellent. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 We define the, the second. Yes. Please define risk. risk. What is risk? Uh, <laughs> risk is our, for example, identify or risk in your work. Um, risk the cook or uh, or risk the hot, for example, uh, the, the, the surface, no, uh, superface, hot, is identified risk. Or surface, uh, hot or, surface. Ah, hot surface. A hot surface, okay. Or, uh, or Floor life is piece of reverberation. Floor, floor, slippery or a slippery or wet floor. Ah, wet floor is identified. It identified the the potential risks in different in different yeah. areas. Weeks. Hello. The question is for you, what is a risk? 
Yeah, uh, Jose, Jose Carlos said about that risk uh, can be a, in a positive way, an opportunity to some something happen. But I say that also a risk can be a danger, a danger event. But why you? What do you think? Oh well, we 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 can continue with the next one if we want. Okay, let's do it. Oh, next one. Okay, number three. Please define a. Uh, Azar. Uh, I don't know how Sorry. to say. Azar, Azar. Azar is some ah. like a luck. Hazard. Something like a word. Hazard. Oh. Ah, hazard. hazard. Danger. Um, danger. Hazard. It is more dangerous than taking risk because when you take a risk, you think about possible ways to fail, but when you when you do something to the hazard, you you are going so blind, right? If you are um, um way that you say um uh, an action that maybe can be a dangerous or also a risk. Um, yeah, you know, for, for me, it's more than a risk. Yes. Um, well, number four. What kind of accident can okay. people have at work? Mm -hmm. If you, well, we know wow. uh, the meaning about the last um, definition, right? Well, also we can. What kind of accident can people have at work? It maybe can uh, can be different and uh, ac accident, right? As the maybe the risk event that can happen and the result uh, maybe an accident, maybe. Yeah, this is my definition. Okay, very good. And you, Richard? Ricardo? Richard? Look here. And you, Rudy? Sorry, hello. <laughs> hello. Sorry, I am work. The question one. Uh, please define accident. Your opinion. Uh, right now, Richard is working, so he's okay. listening. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Rudy? For me, uh, <laughs> risk is like a probably, probability that a person. Um, Maybe will be harm or or experience. Maybe uh, health effect. Mm, if it, maybe if it's exposed to a hazard, uh, hazard, hazard. I don't know how to pronounce the hazard. 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 Uh, to a hazard. Mm -hmm. Adjective is hazardous. Hazardous. Ah, okay. Hazardous. Okay. It's dangerous. dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's the probability to a person be exposed to a hazard. Uh huh. Exactly. Risk. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the risk. The risk. Something possible versus something mm -hmm. actually uh, happening, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Probably for a poor. Yeah. What kind of accident can people have at work? But depend of the type of the work. But in general, 
the accident, uh, maybe the, um, yes, but it can, accident, the same. Mm -hmm. The people uh, work with tools, the, the heavy tools, it's possible to, um, how do you say called? Hit, hit. How do you say? Cold is cold. Hot, cold, cold is the opposite of hot. No, the the uh, the example of accident. The when the people work in he, heavy heavy uh, tools or or vehicles 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 Be mm -hmm. uh huh. Heavy, big, heavy, but heavy, heavy and the machinery and vehicles. Exactly, machinery and the accident for during the job. Yes, in the in the machine for the machine. Uh huh. Can, can it's crash, possible. Can crash. Crash exactly or cut. Or they cut could part of the of the body. Uh huh. They could. Oh, cut, oh, cut off how do you say? Aplastar, teacher. Crush, to be crushed under a machine. Uh -huh. To be uh -huh. Even though it can be a, a medical negligence. Okay, could be a medical negligence. That could be uh -huh. mm -hmm. a risk. Uh -huh. Risk more than hazard. Yes. Yeah. It's all depend on the work. The job. Yes, depending. The, the job that you the do. The job, exactly. The industry, depending. That in your case, Rudy, what kind of accident is possible in your job? Mm. <laughs> Maybe a uh, Brockstone. Or, or a pen or a scissors, maybe, from mm -hmm. the blackboard, something like yeah. that. Yeah, in my case, in my office, it's possible oh, the people eh, slide the floor, slide. Sleep on the wet floor. Sleep. 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 Yeah. Sleep. 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 Okay. Sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Uh, the wet the floor. The wet floor. Yeah. No, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Mal golpe. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> and uh, it increases with age. Yeah. Uh -huh. The older you are, the more dangerous it gets. Exactly. President uh, Biden climbing up uh, the ladder to his Air Force One, he fell three times, right? He put his knee on the on the ladders because he he pretended, but he's not young anymore. He yeah. tried to run up the steps and he, no. missed, he missed a step and he Felt forward. I mean, he uh, touched the steps with the knee, and then mm -hmm. I will pretend that nothing happened, and again and again. Uh, yeah. No, it's no, it's dangerous. Yeah, it's very dangerous. See the consequence. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yes, the the consequences can be severe. 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 Yeah. Serious yes. to severe. Mm -hmm. Severe, yeah, severe, yeah. Okay, um, how did your company handle it? 
these are I have the different the different trainings. Brigadas. Uh-huh. Uh, brigades. Brigades. Brigade. Ah, brigades. Brigade. Comité. Commandos, brigades. Uh -huh. Different brigades. Fire, uh, evacuation, the communication. In this case, you can say teams. 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 Mm -hmm. Teams. Ah, okay. The different teams. Okay, thank you. In training, training for in how. Or how do what to do in emergencies? Yes. Yeah. Who is responsible for security at war? Responsible for security at war. The team of security. The security commi commit commit. Com and, uh, uh, brigade, uh, brigade of health. Yeah, but normally there is one person that is responsible. Uh, what? Uh, delegate or? I mean, there is one person that is responsible for security. Yes. I will, I will give you an example. Okay, uh, someone says, we, we're going to organize a party on Friday to celebrate our goodbye, okay? And then you say, hey, excellent, I love the idea. And then we need a, a cake, we need a soda, we need a decoration, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But we don't say who is going to be responsible for the cake, who's going yeah. to responsible for the soda or who's going to be responsible for the decoration and then the people say oh I thought that you were going to bring it mm -hmm. soda hey but I thought that you were going to bring it and the cake I didn't know who was going to bring it I thought yes. you were going to bring it and the decoration the other. weren't you supposed to decorate it I didn't know. Nobody told me to decorate it, so I didn't decorate it. Yeah. And there are a lot of excuses, and people throw the ball one at the other, one at the other. While there is a person who is responsible for security, he has a team, and he, like you were saying, delegates. He yeah. delegates authority, and he assigns tasks so that the task forces these task forces may be uh, securing the area, making sure that hazards are removed so that there are fewer risks in the workplace, okay? And uh, if there are differences with the workers, like uh, sometimes people in the office try to see the security guards as uh, someone less important and don't respect them. Okay, this person in charge of security has to make a normative, make a regulation stating that probably you don't like the security guards, but you must respect them and follow the authority that they have. Okay, why? Because it is for the benefit of the whole organization not for individual gain, it's for the whole organization. So you have to be obedient and it doesn't matter, I am more important than you. That's not the deal. The idea is, okay, I am important, okay? Yes, I'm important, but you yeah. are important in the position that you are and you have the authority. So I'm going to be submissive to you and be obedient to you because you are the expert in this area. So I will follow what you say. 
Okay, why? Because the person in charge delegated authority on these people. So that's why it's important to delegate authority. And it's important that there is one person responsible for security to see that all the elements, all of the areas are secured. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The idea. Yes, thank you, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes. Marina, in case of fire, is there an evacuation route? Yes. Yes, we have. Okay. Is um, a map. A map for to the first uh, or the principal uh, door. Yes. Uh, what do you have to do in order to keep safe? If you someone has the protocol, maybe we know that we can stay calm, well, safe time, and and there, there can be uh, depend about the protocol. I well, in my work, we have well, I work in. Uh, in a, on a, in a fabric. So in that case, we have a, a different about a factor. Uh, we have a, uh -huh. um, ah, they say that uh, we have a different kind of evacuation routes. Um, it's depending on the area that you work. I don't know if someone has another kind of order to keep safe. Uh, and, maybe Ignacio? Yeah, in, in our company, we have a different brigade. And I am into the evacuation brigade. Brigade? In the, Brigade, yeah, brigade. You have a question, brigade. Uh -huh. And the first, the first step is all people in case of um, earthquake, all people is need to quiet. And uh, and uh, uh, here, here the the different. A sound for the the another system for alarms alarm system and uh, the evacuation brigade uh, go out a different a uh, uh, a select area and uh, for example we are five in five person in the brigade evacuation brigade and we we have a uh, five areas and we need to transfer calm and conduce the different uh, employees go to the out at the security area <laughs> and in all the, we are at the different brick.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now everybody's back in the main group. We're going to have the first definition, an accident. An accident is something unexpected that happens due to a maybe poor configuration or organization. So an accident can be prevented by having the right measures. A risk, there is a risk that is a, the, the high or low probability of something dangerous happening. Yes. Hazard is the, the tangible danger. Like for example, toxics can be a hazard. A fire is a hazard. Electricity is a hazard. So when there is fire in the area or people are manipulating fire, there is a risk of getting burned. Fire per se is a danger, is a hazard, but the risk is of getting burned. Like uh, for example, someone, let's say is spraying <clears throat> what the people call dusting uh, is spraying I mean, toxics like a poison over mm -hmm. a field, corn field. They call the activity, they call it dusting. Deep, like uh -huh, dusting. So they are, they are covering the field with uh, poison. Okay. So uh, then, of course, they, they fumigate the area with this poison. So this is a toxic substance. This is a hazard. Now the risk of getting poisoned is very high, okay? The risk of getting poisoned is very high. And the risk of this affecting your lungs in the long term is also very high. So that is a risk. The, ha the, to the toxic substance is the hazard. The risk is the possibility of getting hurt by this hazard, okay? That's the difference. Okay, now let's move on, Mike. Let's move on. We have pre-task vocabulary, okay? Over here, uh, we're going to be checking some of the vocabulary Please ask if there is something that uh, you no, know, like drunk, a tourniquet, artificial respect, black eyes, blind spot, breakdown, vehicle, a breathalyzer or breathalyzer, car accident, casualty, cliff. Compensation, concussion, or concussion, hurt, damage, dead, drink driving or drunk driving, drowning, shock, electric shock, emergency, eyewitness, catch fire, to choke. To compensate, a fall, fatal, fire extinguisher, first aid, first aid kit, fog, hard shoulder, emergency, lane, okay, or say emergency lane two, hit and run, impact, industrial accident, injured, injury, insurance, Insured, kiss of life, mouth to mouth resuscitation, paramedic, pile up or multiple crash, especially on icy roads. When there is an icy road, one vehicle slips and hits another one, and this one hits the other one, so there is a pile up, a, a multiple crash. Plane crash, poor visibility, precipice. Rain, responsibility, 
road accident, serious, somersault, barrel roll, survivor, tiredness, twisted ankle, witness. Useful verbs, to be in a coma, okay? Coma with only one M, not coma and semicircle, not semicircle, semicolon and period and omission, no. This is coma, okay? To be in a coma, to be in shock, to be trapped, to burn oneself, to burst. To burst is to explode, Pah! explosion, right? To call emergency, to crash into, to cut oneself, to damage, to demolish, to derail. Derail is talking about a train that gets out of the rail, right? So a rail, I mean, a train is running on tracks, but suddenly for whatever reason, maybe poor adjust, adjustment or maybe too much force or too much speed, they get out of the tracks and then that is calling derail, to destroy, to die instantly, to drive, to drown. To drown is glue, 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 right? So you are swimming and uh, you, get a, you get a cramp. You cannot continue swimming. You go to the bottom and you drink a lot of water and then you die. So that is drown, glue, 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 okay? To e electrocute oneself, Zzz, right? It's an electric shot. But the electric shock, I mean, you can survive. But when you electrocute yourself, uh, you don't survive. I mean, it burns, it reaches to the heart and makes the heart, yeah, burn, right? Make, it burns it. To, to escape, to fall from, to fall out of the window, to fall off the bicycle, for example. To get an to give someone mouth to mouth resuscitation, or to give someone or somebody the kiss of life, to hit, to hurl down, to inform, to investigate, to knock over, to lose consciousness, to lose control of, to make a report or to draw up a report, to notify, to perish. When someone dies, they say he perished. He perished in an accident. Means he succumbed in the accident. He patatust in the accident, okay? So he perished. To regain consciousness is to come to. Come to. Come. Means you have lost you have lost consciousness, you went unconscious, but then you regain consciousness, you come to, to rescue, to run over. Run over is when a car hits a person and runs on top of it, to sink, to skid. Skid is because of the ice or something, a car slips, okay, uh, then, to skin, skin your knee. To skin your knees, when you are running, you fall down, and the first thing that you put is your knee. And then this, the surface of your knee skin is removed. So you skin your knee, okay? To slide. To slide means that um, part of the wall and the mountain, the side of the mountain, uh, moves down because of the action of water or because of snow. So it slides down and falls on top of the street. Slide, but landslide, for example, mudslide. An avalanche may cause something to precipitate on top of the highway, that is slide. To slip, you are running and the place is wet, 
and you slip and sit down. Slip. To somersault means that you take a jump to avoid being hit or to avoid uh, any obstacle, right? Somersault is a jump and a twist motion forward or backwards, okay? But the thing is that you stay away and you are protected. To sprain an elbow, to suffocate, to twist an ankle, to warn, to witness, and to wreck. To wreck is to cause damage to, especially a vehicle. Sometimes some drivers are not careful and they ram against another vehicle. And of course they wreck the vehicle. The vehicle cannot be used anymore. So they wreck it. Okay, so this is the vocabulary. We're going to be doing an exercise. I invite you to use the dictionary to work on this because we don't have time. I wish we had time for me to be explaining each of them, but many times our big problem is that. So over here, I'm going to send you to the next activity. Okay, all you have to do is, I try to simplify and not to put difficult things. So you're going to just be completing these sentences using the past tense of the verbs in parentheses, so that you may say, or you may describe some accidents that happened, okay? Someone at a hospital is describing some accidents. And uh, okay, so you need to complete with the verbs in the past tense. The purpose is that you learn how to express some of these things in order to describe risk and hazard. All right, so that's what we are talking about after all. Let's go to the group. And now that we're 16, I think I'm going to make smaller groups. Okay, we were three groups, I'm going to make four groups. And I'm going to be seeing that everybody, uh, I mean, that all the groups have a leader. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess every person, every group, we have a, will have a leader. Okay, let me see, I don't see, okay. Ta -da. Okay, I'm opening the group. I'm opening the groups and I'm going to make a change because I took away one from one, I'm going to put it there so that everybody's for. All right, all of the groups have leaders, so discuss the questions. Here we go. Groups are opening. Okay, Anadelmi, you are in group three. Don Jose Ignacio is already in. Okay, so excellent. Okay, excellent. Let's begin. We can start. Uh, well, uh, he said about uh, we can decide who is the leader, right? Or something else. About the leader. Who's going to be the leader is going to be the one who will be sharing the screen. <laughs> like, what? One who can share the screen. One ah, okay. Uh, maybe. If someone can share the screen. Yeah. Maybe First. maybe Senorita Karina Villeda wants to share the screen. Okay. Okay. Um, 
okay? I can see your screen. Yeah. Complete with the correct password of the bear. Well, um, the, the activity, right? Yes. Uh, one, the woman fall down and break her arm. The woman, um, Okay. Fall down. Fell down. And broke her arm. Arm. Uh -huh, broke. Uh huh. Yeah. Fall down and break. <laughs> <laughs> Fall is the same like fall. Fall in pass. Um fail. The woman fell down and broke her arm. <laughs> uh well, uh, is with L. Uh, well, mm. yes, fell is with L. Is fell is with W L. Yeah. Uh, well, the next one, we had to call emergency. The woman fell down and broke and broke Her arm, her arm. Do it's you okay. agree? Broken. Uh, Brave broke. Break. No, it's not. It's irregular. Brave broke. Mm -hmm. Broke. Oh, key broke. Yeah. The woman fell down and broke her arms. Configuration. Okay. Number two. Number two. It's okay. We have to call the emergency. Yes, the pass is hard. We have to call emergency. Okay. We have H A D E D H A D. H A D. One eight. The next one, the number three. Luckily, she she down. She wasn't. Wasn't. Far wasn't. It's okay. Yeah, Lucy, she wasn't far from hospital. No estaba cerca de un hospital. 
No estaba lejos, ¿verdad? No estaba. No estaba lejos. De un hospital. De un hospital. Mm, we need to change that. Oh. The third one. Like, a, let me see, like the number six was not. Uh -huh. Allí, ajá. Mm. Allí sería what? Y abajo igual. Mhm. Mhm. Ahora sí. Mm -hmm. The next one. El pasado de, de este. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. You said, do you said? Mm -hmm. It's a regular verb. Sí, exactly. Y el otro igual, ¿verdad? Que sería was. Bruce. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bruce. 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 Y el pasado del was, exacto. Mm -hmm. And then survive. Ah, y ahí es el survive. Eso sí, no, no, no lo recuerdo. Only the survived. Mm -hmm. Ah, es sí. a regular verb. Ah, ok, ok. Es okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. a regular verb. Sí, es, hoy sí. Okay. Excellent, you have finished. Finish, finish. Excellent. So let's let's go back to the main group. Okay. Me borraron todo. Okay, now that everybody uh, is back, there was a mistake in number nine. Fell off, okay? You fall off a bike, right? No. You fall off a bike, so is here is a missing off. Maybe what worrying that it fit in the blank, I eliminated off for it to fit, but that's not the idea. Okay. So number one, we say fell. Number two is broke. Broke. Number three is had. Number three was. was. Number four, the same, put. Then the other slipped. It slipped. Slip. Number six, six, 
Okay, slipped. Mm -hmm. Number six. Was. 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 Mm. Number six. seven. Eight. Took. 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 Number eight. Got. 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 Yes. Number nine. Fell. Fell. Fell off his bike. Fell. Fell. Banged. Banged. Mm. Banged his head against the floor. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't was badly hurt. And number 11. Was broke. Broke. Number 12 was. Yes. Number, and here also survived. Yeah. Survived. So, what do we have? We have. Okay, I'm going to read to you all of the ones, and you check how we say. The woman fell fell down and broke her arm. We had to call emergency. Luckily, she wasn't far from a hospital. The doctor put her arm in plaster. That is in a cast, right? Something white, something white that covers the arm, okay? Puts, uh, the doctor put her arm in plaster. Another lady slipped on a banana peel. She was knocked unconscious. Means she hit her head and she was knocked unconscious. Mm. The, the paramedics took her to a hospital. Eight, she got 12 stitches in the back of her, of her head. Teacher, stitches? Stitches are like, like, like stitches. Okay. Uh, a young boy fell off his bike and banged his head against the floor. Fortunately, he wasn't badly hurt. He only bruised his ego. An old man was hit by a car. He survived, but is in coma. Okay, so this is describing accidents, right? Now, let's continue. Match. You need to match box, the green box and uh, the yellow orange box. So how are you going to match it? I don't know. Maybe this is an idea because you're matching the problems and their solutions. Maybe you're matching the numbers. You are placing the numbers next to the letters, okay? or you are placing the letters next to the numbers. It's your decision, okay? You decide. I prefer the numbers next to the letters, but it's your decision, all right? So let's go to the, let's go there. So the groups are opening. Uh, Pam, in what group were you? Uh, I'm with uh, Karina and Carla and Ignacio, I think. Karina, Group one, Carla, maybe. Karina, Carla, and Ignacio. Karina, Carla, Ricardo. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, this. Yes, okay. Aha, uh -huh, you got a haircut. You got a haircut. 
No. <laughs> oh, hi, traviesa. That's okay. It looks nice on you. It looks very nice. Okay. So let's see. Then I send you to group one, senorita. Okay. Uh, if we can share the screen, maybe. Uh, match the problems and their solutions. If you want, we can read first the numbers and then someone else can read the, the letters. And then we can decide of which one. According. Sorry? What is the according? Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I will start with the numbers. An okay. employee was moved in front of her work site to the electric wiring is badly taped. Three, nobody knew the area was dangerous. Four, toxic fumes knowledge. Some employees un unconscious. Five, someone had had an accident, but nobody knew about it. Six, thieves broke into the place the night before. Seven, the content of some bottles was uncertain. Eight, an American need, needed assistance, but nobody could understand him. Uh, nine, nobody knows what to do in case of emergency. Seven, the, ten, sorry, the fire extinguishers were empty. Okay. Okay, I will read the alert. Okay, A, with a leap published and disseminated safety policy list. Disseminated, widely disseminated. published and disseminated safety policies. Wise, wisely published and disseminated safety policies. Uh, there be labeling and posturing in a hard hazard areas. Uh, C multiple multiling. Yeah, yeah, letter G. What is your opinion? Jose, Jose, in plural. Jose, yeah. Yes, I, I agree yeah. with Carly. Nita, number letter G. Okay. Yeah, the letter G is okay. Okay. The number two. G. The electric wiring is badly taped. Badly. Taped. Grabar. Okay. The electric wiring is badly. Ah, gravemente. Un segundo. Badly taped is not mal grabada, no? It's badly taped is, uh, you know, that you have to insulate, insulate the wires so that they don't cause a fire hazard. Uh, actually, you, you use masking, well, a special type tape, a special type of tape 
black tape, blue tape, different colors. Ah, okay. To mask. It's the cover, the cover, teacher. Yes, you mask, you have to mask uh, the wires. You mask it with that. And then, um, so that is for insulation, for insulation so that uh, there is no, uh, they, they are not in contact and they cause a short circuit, right? So that is, the electric wiring is badly taped, means that there are some areas that tape is missing. So maybe if the two cables, mm -hmm. they can cause a fire, right? Yeah. The number maybe maybe le, sorry le, letter letter B leveling and posturing in hazardous areas. Yes. Yes. What's the purpose of uh, labels and posters uh, that people? I mean, to inform people about the contents of bottles, the contents of, uh, uh, let's say, baskets, or uh, let's say, pails, right? So, or bottles, cans, or things. Maybe they are noxious uh, substances, toxic substances, and then you have to label them properly. That is one of the things. Posters, maybe in the area, you put like um, information about procedures or be careful, okay? A toxic substances or uh, electric hazard, okay? Uh, maybe high a politician, <laughs> politician advertising. <laughs> <Two. Yeah. laughs> okay. But in this case, only information, teacher? For posters, yeah, the idea is that is that information is, uh, yeah, exactly. I said information. <laughs> it's yeah. people, to let people know about the contents. Okay, let me tell you like this. It is important to label, not only at work, but also at home. Uh, one time, I remember my father wanted to drink soda, and he, there was a Coca-Cola bottle, and my mother had put uh, a certain type of uh, uh, cleaning substance inside the Coca-Cola bottle, and he looked the color of Coca-Cola, and my father saw it, ah, it's on the table, and it's Okay, he opened it and he took a swallow. <laughs> you say, you know, uh, with his mouth full, he spit it out and um, he burned, he nearly burned her, his mouth. Why? Because my mother hadn't labeled the bottle saying cleaning substance, not soda. <laughs> All right. Okay. Home. That is at home. Imagine at work that yeah. there are people. So if you don't label the bottles properly, people may take substances that are toxic, thinking that they are all substances. So it's important to properly label the bottles, the flasks, okay. cans, and of course, posters. Put a uh, Maybe in an ev evacuation route on a poster for people, I mean, to inform people how to get out of the place, okay? Or what route to follow in case of an emergency. Those are posters that are important. Mm -hmm. To avoid the accident. Accident, to avoid accidents, yes. Okay, okay. So, the number two. Maybe I, concise. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. letter, letter, letter G. No, letter, letter I. Letter I. Ajá. Uh -huh. The fire extinguisher were empty. The periodic safety inspection. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. I think it is. We're missing number one, two, and seven. Yes. Sí. Mm, okay, in the case of, for example, Number number two, the electric uh, wiring is poorly taped. Maybe can be letter G. Okay, tape is um, insulation. Talking about electric wires means uh -huh. there is not a fire hazard. There is not an accident because two field two PL cables touch. Uh -huh. Okay, if they are badly taped, means that they have maybe little tape and they exposed areas that if they get in contact with one another, they can cause a fire hazard. So this is badly taped. Uh, you know that okay. tape, tape yeah. Tape is the one that we use for masking things. Uh -huh. oh, this is another type. There is an electric tape that is used for insulating cables. Like when you put two cables together, right? you join the cables, maybe by twisting them and, and putting them together, later you mask them with tape so that uh -huh. they are not peeled, they are not exposed and they may not cause a fire hazard. But in here it says the electric wiring is badly taped. Probably there are areas that are exposed. Uh -huh. So that is, um, if someone touches them or brushes against them, they can get severely burned or get a, uh, an electric shock. Mm. So what can that be? Maybe you can repeat, no problem, okay? You can repeat. Uh, okay, maybe the letter H? Maybe letter H. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Testing and maintenance, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Sure. And also letter E, periodic safety inspections. Uh -huh. The two combine, or you can put one or the two. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to pull you out of your discussion. We're going to get into another discussion. Okay. Uh, have, number one, discuss the following questions with a partner. Okay. What's the difference between incident and accident? Opinions, incident, and accident. Think about incidents. Maybe. Maybe the accident caused um, in, in, injury. Injuries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, injuries. In, normally. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. At least, if not injuries, but delays and the uh, unhappy moment. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy. Happy moment. <laughs> In an incident, what about an incident? An incident is something that we don't expect that happened, but is is not much dangerous as an accident. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So sometimes we re we report incidents, but we don't report accidents. And sometimes we should re report both. Incidents must be reported, but accidents, of course, they must be reported. The definition that we have at the bottom is uh, an incident is an unexpected event that does not result in serious loss or injury. An accident is an, an unexpected event that causes damage injury or harm, or at least delay in time. Like for example, okay, let us imagine that you are working in the, at the office and you don't respect the, the regulations of not eating and drinking at the office. And you have your cup of coffee next to your keyboard and accidentally, because the telephone rang, you quickly answered the phone. Now we have wire, wireless telephones, but imagine that you brush uh, against the dish, against the, the cup with your elbow and you upset it and the liquid falls on the keyboard. Okay, bye-bye keyboard. It will not work anymore. Were you hurt? No. But can you continue working? No. Nope. You need to get another board, <laughs> right? Unless your computer is touch. If your the screen of your computer is touch, okay. What you can do is activate the touch. Uh, the touch screen and then there is a cable no there is a keyboard on the screen and you can type there uncomfortable but okay you can do it or another thing you can dictate the computer right which is also a little problem so this is an example of an accident which doesn't result in, let's say, an injury, but it, but it makes you waste time, okay? All right, so incident, something that happens, and sometimes something that repeats, and there is an incidence, there is a repetition of that type of situation that may not cause a danger, but uncomf uncomfort or distress, okay? Let's see, what about number two? What's the difference between risk and accident? One volunteer? Senorita Carlita, what's your opinion? What do you think is the difference between risk and accident? Mm. Uh, 
For me, accident is a uh, action in involuntary in involuntary involuntary act a action. Incident is a situation. Yes. Mm. Only that right okay. now we are working on number two, risk versus accident. Risk versus accident. What's your deep, uh, the difference that you could tell us, the way you see it? Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect words. It doesn't have to be complicated, a complicated definition. Only what you understand by risk and accident. Teacher. Okay. Ah, you want to help her? Yes. Okay. Chris, Chris, uh, uh, I think they identify the different risks for in different areas or different department or a surface or risk or coating or cut corte. Or floor. Corte de que? De energía, corte de oh. cuentas. Corte. Hands, hands, or fingers. A cut. Oh, yes. You cut your finger. Is, yeah. Okay. You say. Or. An accident is no intentional act. Amputation, you can say an amputation of a finger or an amputation of the arm. Yeah, yeah. Of a hand. Mm -hmm. In in accident, I think there is no intentional act or no premeditation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Somebody. Yes. yes. Tell us. Is is a accident involuntary? Is a working a useful draft? Is a Puli, pu, no sé cómo se pronuncia pulidora o machine machine core duty duty yeah yes duty is is a uh, probably is a uh, accident uh, accident involuntary my work you say a uh, duty a uh, draft in is machine is is, is corte is a uh, uh, apparate is eh, sol, sol, de soldar, me parece que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Welding. Is, uy, is, welding. Sorry. Welding. Ah, is welding, is welding. My word is usual. Uh, today. Mm -hmm. Is a uh, material uh, de protection. Okay. Uh, yes. Sorry. That's all. Okay, thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. Richard, what? Okay. Yes? Yes. Good. Yes, excellent. Thank you very much. Because you okay. want to say something? Jose Carlos Argueta, Romero. Sorry, teacher, what you said? Uh, Jose Carlos Aegueta. No, Argueta is right. Argueta Romero. Yeah. So, Tell me, what do you want to say about risk and accident? For me, risk and accident, the difference is that an accident is something that happened, right? Uh -huh. And a risk is something that could be happened. Could happen, okay. Yeah, you said it, that's a, that's a difference. An accident is something that is unexpected, happens, causes loss, damage, harm, a waste of time. But it's like somebody said, I, I like the word that you use, involuntary. Hey, that's a nice dog. So involuntary, but um, risk is a potential accident. It's something that potentially may occur. So it has high, possibility of happening. Okay, the next one. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Risk assessment? 
I'm not sure, teacher, but I guess risk assessment is the process of analyzing the risk that you will take or probably you will take. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Big thumb up. <laughs> Big thumbs up. Yeah. Very nice. nice. Have, okay. Okay. What do you think it means? You told me. Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? Why should organizations design risk assessments? To discover, to be aware of, to know what risks the company is running and how to prepare for them, right? How to prepare for the risks, okay? Why do we need to prepare for risks? To be safe? <laughs> we want to be safe, so we need to prepare for that. Okay, let's move on. Dialogue, okay? So this is basically this and this, and this one. And with this, we finish. Well, we have this an idea, but hopefully we can have time for that. Hopefully, okay? Let's see. Dialogue. Uh, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Mm, measures for electric shocks, for electric burns, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Yes, I have. Yes, I have, Marcos. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and accidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that yet. All right, then. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the accident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. And we will, don't worry. Okay, so this is the conversation. Okay, uh, the next thing is you're going to be discussing the questions. And uh, the last one, you're going to be matching this. Okay, matching the definitions and words. Okay, these three things. The next one, don't worry. We're going to see how we come about that. So it's going to be 17, 18, and 19, all right? Let's go to the groups and let's work on that. Okay, here we go. Okay. Is the, the last time? Yeah, okay. Uh, read and practice the conversation with a partner. If you want, I can go, I can read uh, Marco. Have you done know. Okay, me, Jose. Okay, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shocks for electric burns. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft of for the office safety plan yet? Yes, I have Marcos now. It'll work of plan for reporting hazard and accident. Uh great. 
I will work on some idea on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that yet. All right, then. It work establishes the accident probability, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of and by the end of the weekend. And we will, don't worry. Okay, um, I don't we can choose. You can be Marcos and I can be Josue. Okay, I'm, I'm I am Marcos. Okay, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shocks, shocks for electric bonds. Yes. Yeah, it is, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plans yet? Uh, yes, I have Marcos. Now I will work on a plan for reporting hazard and accidents. Great, I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress in that yet. All right, then I will work on establishing the accident probabilities, the potential severities, risk, risk values, and risk level. That's not good. We have we want to have everything ready, re ready at the end by the end of the week. And we will, don't worry. Okay. I want yeah. to be Marcos one okay. time. I am Jose. Okay. Jose. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure incomplete. Measure electricity shock for electricity burn. Yes, it is. Have you finished the first draft of the Office of Safety Plan yet? Yes, I have, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazard and accidents. Great. It works some idea on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that yet. All right. They are working on establish the accident probabilities, uh, the potential safety, safety risk, evaluate, evaluate the risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Next page. We discuss that question. First, who has worked at the office safety plans? Who has worked? Who has worked? Uh, Josue? Josue is work in the safety plant. Uh, to the question, okay. who has worked on a office safe plan? You say it, sorry. That's way. That's way. Yes, I have, Marcos. I will work on a plan and reporting has started an accident. Yeah, he, he, he works. Sure. Okay. And the second. Who will work on a plan to report? Well, well, uh, Josue is, is it's report hazards and accidents. Yeah. I don't know if maybe Marcos. Let me check this with the list of hazards. Oh, well, maybe. I have 
Have you finished the first draft for the office safe plan yet? No, maybe also I was very right. In first yeah. question and then the second. Yeah, I think uh, Josué works in the plan, in the safety plan, and yes. in a report as an accident. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, who, uh, number three. What is an area of the risk assessment process in which the manager haven't progressed much? For the measure for electrical shock and electrical bars. What is the area of the risk assessment process? In which the manager have not progress much. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we no only this part. Yes, only this part, yeah. Ese chucho. ¿Mm? Yeah. Anita's dog. Yeah. My dog is not friendly with the cat. With my cat. <laughs> Yes, is how you say ridoso, low, low, ridoso, noisy, noisy, noisy. Yes, teacher, my dog is stressed, stressful, <laughs> stress right now. Yeah, I am not sure what. Sorry, you're not sure why the dog is barking, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. <It's> okay. <laughs> I am not sure what the answer the number three. Eh, Anita, eh, y Josué, Josué. Hi, Jose. Please, up. Hello, ladies. Anadel, me, it's only you. Where are the others?
is you protect someone or something. Yeah. Let me see. Number two. Maybe because only probabilities, little pro. Yeah. It's all. Close. And and after what is in the next page? You know. Finish. Finish. <laughs> 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 okay. Let me take a screen. Okay. Yes, Hi. Yes, okay. okay. Potential to be dangerous because uh, I can stop it. Fesa, Federación. Salva de ella. Fe. ¿De qué? De árbitro. Pues. No. Fesa, Federación Salva de ella. So, teacher, we finish. Sí, ahí es donde, donde forman a los árbitros. Let's go room. Let's go room, teacher. Let's go room. Let's go room. Let's go room. Let's go room. Let's Exposure, exposure. Uh, <clears throat> exposure. Uh, maybe it can be number three. Yeah, sorry, the aim is to protect someone, something from a hazard situation, hazard situation. Mm. Or maybe it can be a potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Sports, sir. Yes. I think, I think that they just say this is one. But... Number four, I think is a second. Farce, safari. safari. I meant to protect someone, something for a serious situation. Oh, okay. Four. Or these procedures to prevent something dangerous from happening. Mm -hmm. That is no hazard. What? What number? Uh, the, the second procedure to prevent something dangerous for happen. Procedures to prevent, uh, but it say about prevent and we have precautionary. Six. Six. Yes. Processes to prevent something dangerous from happening. Yes. Or. Well, uh, number four. I oh, know you say number four. Uh, number five. 
irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Just consequence of damage. damage. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, we have two. We will. Push and weeks. Risk and exposure. Okay, a tiempo. <laughs> On time. Okay, I am trying to call my dog. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, risk is potential would be <laughs> likelihood of harm. I think oh. two, even though oh, vice versa can be okay too, because the definition is not very clear. <laughs> the definition is not very clear. A risk is potential or likely to happen, okay? And hazard is danger, present danger, okay? So potential to be dangerous, okay? Cause harm, hazard. So I need to put him like this. Okay, exposure. I'm protected from something dangerous or pleasant. So you say three. What about safety measure? Pressure, pressure, growth, procedure, procedure to prevent, procedure, procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. What about precautionary? In the aim to someone with something from a hazardous situation. Irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Number five, irreversible damage. Irreversible damage would be number five. Very good. Now let's see. Rhythm uh, says the following paragraph and underline the passive voice sentences. Okay. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like uh, the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety procedure. 
I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. Okay, so underline. Let's choose yellow. Okay, this is what we're going to be working on tomorrow. That's why I'm putting it here today. Have been left. Okay, has not been informed. Has, okay, has been interested, no, because interested is, is the, the adjective, so it's not a passive voice. Have been taught. That's passive voice. Okay. Has been interested now. Interested is an adjective. All right, my friend. Let's see. Have been left. Han sido dejados. Han sido abandonados. Okay. Has not been informed. No ha sido. No ha sido informado. Has not been informed. Has have been taught and sido instruidos o enseñados. Have been taught to follow the rules and sido instruidos a seguir las reglas al pie de la letra by the book. Right? Have been taught, has not been informed, have been left. This is tomorrow's topic. Right now, let's go to. Let's go to uh, Tenda. You must tell me. Present teacher. Excellent. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Okay. Danny Anton. Uh, is Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Hey, I haven't seen you today. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Welcome on board. Jose Carlos Arriaga. Present teacher. Josué, no. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Cari. Okay. Eh, Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent, Marvin. Welcome aboard. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Okay. Pedrina Iliana Gomez. Present teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Nice. And René Osvaldo Bonilla Herrera. Present. Janira eh, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't come anymore. And Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Ricardo. Ah, no. Ricardo had already said present. <laughs> Rudy. Rudy left early today, okay. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight, Jose Carlos stays uh, okay. for the conversation, okay? The others, thank you very much for attending. God bless you all, take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, my friends. Be good. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, take care. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Be good. Bye bye.
Take care. Sleep well. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. And then what happened? Uh, how can I help you, my friend? What questions do you have? Okay. I have a question with a specific topic. Maybe it's in the first class. I have a topic that I'm not clear, but I don't remember as well. It, let me remember. In the first, in the first week, in the first class, we have the, the homework, right? So I have a three question that I couldn't answer. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Give me a minute. Sure. I remember that, that the, the answer said, two songs were thinking, oh, dos canciones fueron tocadas antes. I don't remember exactly, but in the first class, this topic, I'm not sure about that. Mm. Can you give me a minute and I will take a screen? See, let me see if it is a agreement. Agreement, right? That agreement that you're talking about, um, either boy can help us, uh, both, both of the ladies were upset or the lady who is carrying roses looks sad or something like that? Yes, I remember that was the, the first or the second class, right? The first of the second class. Okay, let me yeah. open the second class. Okay, let me see him. Um, I'm not sharing it, right? Let me let me share it with you. Okay. Can you see it? Is this the one? This not is, teacher. This is the first class. Mm. No, with the class, I'm sure I'm talking about the homework. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. The first or the second homework. I don't know if I can enter the homework. Um, let me see. Um, I will enter, I will read the questions, but I cannot show them to you. Okay. We'll see how you can work them out. Okay. okay. Let me see. And I'm going to enter in a particular way. Okay. It's only that Zoom is really limited. It yeah, I know. cannot open many things and then it tells you uh, too, too many things open, we cannot do it. So okay. I can't open anymore, right. but let me see if I can go this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this part was never corrected. So this was never corrected. So let me see, I can, I will enter in another way. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I guess I I I raised too much. I think I raised too much, but let me see if now I can end. Okay. The same case, page not found. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. 
I guess the topic was reducing adverbs or something like that. So I get a little confusion with the active and the passive voice because the homework given a, a mm -hmm. sentence and we need to change, right? I remember that the sentence says something like a, the performance, así como que tocaron dos canciones or, or something like that. Or two scenes, or two songs were singing and the performance were dancing. This, this subject or okay. this topic, I'm not sure, high percent. Uh -huh. Let me see. This is the third homework. Second piece. I guess. Maybe uh -huh. third. that one that says, no, because this is present perfect. Third homework, fourth. Uh huh. Is one point five. One point. Uh -huh. Yes. After they sang two songs, the performers did a dance. Yeah. This. This I couldn't. After. Excluding. After singing two songs. Yes. The perform. You have to. Uh, eliminate. Let me see. I'm going to explain it to you. Okay. Let's. Let's see, let me have the board. Okay, I'm going to, yes, I know what you're talking about. So I'm going to erase that one. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'm in the right color. So let's see. Like this. Mm. Can you see this? Yes, I can see it perfectly. Okay. After they, uh -huh. After they ate, they went to bed. Okay. Yes. Now, how do we reduce it? Okay. After is kept, but you eliminate the subject, right? You eliminate the subject. So by by this, and you transform mm -hmm. this to ing. So yes, the part. You can say. Eating after, okay. So that the reduction is after eating, they went to bed. Yes, that that rule I have clear using ing and change the the subject, but in a specifically in that sentence that from the homework, I I couldn't do it. Okay, in in the specific sentence. After it they said, sang two songs, after singing two songs, is only that. Yeah, after singing two songs, <laughs> uh, only that. Um, okay. But because it's very, yeah, short, I try. <laughs> it's very short. You don't have to write the complete sentence. Only the reduction. Um, yeah. Okay, that is the only question that I have because I couldn't with that. Yeah, only the reductions. The second is before he answered the phone, he grabbed a pencil and notepad. Before okay. answering the phone. Before answering the phone. And in um, while I was away in college, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. While away in college, you will um, okay. while away. And uh, when working at home, Carla takes her younger child to school in the morning while when working. And yeah. although hurt, you eliminate he and eliminate was. Although hurt, Jack managed to smile. Um, hurt. Although hurt, Jack managed to smile. I'm okay. That's my question because I tried for many ways and no one was perfect. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's it. okay. Then I let you go. Uh, I let you go.
homework and complete it and, and uh, check if you can do it now. Okay, you can still ch change that one. I'm going to update in the grade. Okay, okay so um, and the final test, when I, I show do teacher, today or? Do it today, you can do it tomorrow, you can do it, yes. Today or tomorrow, okay. fine. If you can do it today, do it. Because okay. many people have already done it. They have 100. Okay, okay. And people that don't come to class, they have already done it. And they... <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, see you. See you tomorrow then. Take care, my friend. Okay. So okay, well... teacher. Thank you. Welcome, my friend. Take care. Be good. Be well. <laughs> see you. See you.